That is still one of my favorite movies ever. Oh, hands down. And it is hard to believe, by the way, that the classic musical Grease is actually coming up on its 39th anniversary tomorrow. Still can't wrap my head around that. <laughs> we break down its timeless impact as we go inside. How great was Grease? Grease had a major cultural effect. It affected music, fashion, and of course, film. Guys. Be cool, huh? Not only did it revive the musical, but it also brought in the defining genre of the 80s, which was the teen film. Filmed throughout Los Angeles and released on June 16, 1978, Grease grabbed American teens by their preppy sweaters and leather jackets and took them on a pop musical fantasy ride. Danny, are you all right? Telling the story of Danny Zuko, played by John Travolta, and good girl gone bad, Sandy Olsen, played by Olivia Newton-John. Sandy. I guess it's good they're still talking about it, right? It's exactly. yes. how, how old is this movie? 40 years old. <laughs> um, yeah, years, nearly 40, 40 years. years. Grease really was a game changer because it showed teens talking about things that mattered to teens, like teen pregnancy and sex and class issues. This is all. I think I'm knocked up. You do, huh? Yeah. Boy, good news really travels fast. We really hadn't seen that before. Since its release, Grease has earned 395 million worldwide, and it's the U.S.'s second highest grossing live action musical of all time. It also spawned a massive soundtrack, which ended 1978 as the second best selling album of the year behind Saturday Night Fever and the singles Summer Nights. And you're the one that I want. We're both number one hits and are still among the top 20 selling singles of all time. Met a girl, crazy for me. Met a boy, cute as can be. And audiences still clamor for Danny and Sandy's love story, with Fox airing a critically acclaimed live version in 2016, starring Julianne Huff and Vanessa Hudgens that drew over 12 million viewers. The secret to Grease's longevity is it had a fun cast, it has great catchy songs, but ultimately it has this sort of edginess and subversiveness that you don't expect. The ending has the good girl becoming the bad girl. That's your happy ending. That's the way it should be. Wow.